Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to what is today me in the Dreamlight Valley. And got pretty addicted to this game recently, I'm not gonna lie. Got the pool currently being built, doing some tiles around this, but you're not interested in the pool because today we are here to talk about the farm. And as you can see, farming is actually one of the best ways to make some sort of serious dough in this game. Through slightly later, once we find where the heck Mickey is, because I'm certain he is a gardener that we will just go through, pick up everything, level him up potentially. Right, he's running down there. He is running down here. Oh, I got that big balloon as well. Big balloon is quite cool. Anyway, here's Mickey, the creepy guy himself. Let's have a word. So we're going to want Mickey to hang out with us. Because in doing so, he of course will get his bonus XP, which is what we're all about. So we're just going to grab a load of this. You can see how much we can get just from... The standard stuff. If you wondered where I got these bushes, of course, in the editor mode, you can just move these wherever you want. So that's what we've done. And we've got a wide variety of tree. We've got some apple tree, banana tree. We've got the coconut. We have got the lemon. We have got the cocoa. Although now I've run out of inventory space. Okay, so after that adventure, we're now back. So we got our cocoa. We got our things. We got some more cocoa. These are all from various biomes, obviously opening up through game progression. But what we can now do is we can actually go along and harvest all this stuff, get a load of XP for Mickey, and a load of stuff to sell. Now, obviously, this is not the super high-tier kind of, you know, value items that we're looking for. We want to get this special flower. Now, this flower we've just picked here, this is the one you want to be planting. It is worth a lot of dough, as you can see, the canola flower, whatever canola does. But we'll continue getting our shoe cake. There we go. Don't know what is next, um, Tear is gonna be. Ah, we get one cake. I really wanted that fountain. If that is a fountain, looks sick. So we definitely got to get to that. We'll see how much money we're gonna get for all of this. Now, bear in mind, this is very mixed up farming stuff. Mainly sugar cane we're gonna How's sell. Going? We can just have a look at how much we're actually gonna get. We can sell all the sugar cane, the cocoa, the raspberries are worth a fair amount. There's a load more sugar cane. Lemons, we've got the coconuts, bananas, we've got the apples, plenty of blueberries, and a couple of carrots apparently. So you can see we're only up to 3,500, but you know, just five of these alone is 500. So that's why you want to be piling canoas everywhere. But anyway, we're going to sell that for 4k. So if you want to get high value, you want to run up into this biome up here. But this is the Forest of Valor, and this goofy store is where you can get these seeds. Um, there they are, right there. Now they're worth, obviously, the seeds are quite expensive. Don't get me wrong. You know, 25 for a seed is quite dear. But we're just going to buy the full whack of these. Bearing in mind, these do take a bit longer to grow because you have to water them more than once. But 2,400 is a very, very good investment. So we'll just remember that. Oh, there's our dear friend, Wally. We love Wally. And of course Merlin, who's just chilling. Just gonna plant all of these, and this will make us a heck ton of money. A heck ton of money. But I'm gonna plant them, and I'll bring you back once they're planted. Right, the seeds are planted, so just got to water them all. Should be able to do them in fours if you get it just about right. And once that's done, you've just got to keep an eye on these flowers because they do need a second round of watering. I can't remember if it's actually a third round. It's definitely at least two. Okay, folks, so, as you can see, the plants need watering again, so this could be the last whack of watering we have to do on these. I generally can't remember if they're two or three. We're about to find out. I feel it's two rounds, but I could be wrong. So, hopefully, within the next sort of ten minutes or so, these will all be fully grown and we can see how much money we're going to get from them. We're back for round three of the watering. The plants are only got and growing. They're popping up. As we speak, so we are going to go along and find Mr. Mickey Mouse, wherever on earth he may be. And we're going to go pull him all... Oh, he's coming up the stairs. Look at that, just in time as well. Moral of the story here is, at the moment, either plant carrots or plant these. So we're going to harvest them all and we're going to see how much money we can make. Now, we've got to remember, we probably spent around the 2k mark or so on these seeds. And now we've got loads that have just gone everywhere. And they've put them all round. Ah, oh, this is the one problem of having fences. Go over the other side. Right, we're not getting them. That's fine. We're going to continue the harvest. And once I've picked them all up, we'll go down to the stall. Let's grab them. Let's see how many we can flog. So we've got 50 here. 
five grand. 10.9k. Look at that. 13.7 thousand coin. Just for that. That is what I call big dollar. Let's turn that in. Oh my lord. Now, do you see, folks? That is a lot of money. All in, that's like 11,000 profit. Maybe top end of 10k. That is quite a lot, and we've not done too bad at all with that. So, if I was you, like I say, go along, get more seeds, plant them again, rinse and repeat. Hope you found that helpful. Not saying that's the best way to go farming, but it's certainly my preferred method as of the minute. And make sure you leave the video a like, subscribe, and I'll be back for loads more Dreamlight Valley content, including various resources that you may need for crafting, quests, and whatever else. So, until then, have a lovely day.